I am Dr. Judy Pretorius, the CEO and biomedical scientist of Biomedical Emporium. We are a leading biotechnology company and what does it mean? We combine biology and chemistry sciences. So one of the first components that I do, we make use of tissue engineering techniques where we culture skin for research and development purposes but also to make what we call cellular epithelial autographs, skin for burns patients. I am an academic doctor. I started my pre-grad in BSc Biological Sciences, majored in chemistry and biochemistry and then I followed that up with an honors degree in biochemistry, did a master's degree in genetics, mitochondrial genetics, followed by a PhD in pharmaceutical chemistry, so that's where the doctorate come from, or the doctor Judy comes from. Um, I studied more after that, did a postdoctoral degree, did a law degree, advanced terminal aesthetics diploma, so you can see I'm most definitely a professional student. Yes, I do like studying, maybe I didn't like the exam part so much, but I do like studying. And for me, I saw that knowledge is power and I also saw my qualifications as nothing other than an investment in my career. And the more I learn, the more I can contribute and yes, also gain from it financially. Unfortunately, I don't think South Africans take it seriously enough. I don't think it's promoted enough. There are certain uh, countries that produce PhD, masters and PhD uh, students by the thousands. I actually agree that education should be free because we need to encourage people to go for more formal educations, get that tertiary qualification and become a scarce skill individual within a particular discipline. Become so skilled in a position that nobody can replace you. In my opinion, there's nothing like you're overqualified for a position. It, something like that just doesn't exist. You cannot be overqualified for a position because knowledge really leads to substantial transformation. It leads to the most proper change that you can just imagine. So I would say most definitely, if, if I were to appoint someone, the first thing I look at is what type of qualifications they have and how important qualification and knowledge and skills are to them because that academic contribution really makes a huge difference.